Hi, it's John. It's the 17th of December and uh, still got um, geraniums flowering outside and antirhinums. The wallflowers have started flowering and uh, Christmas rose, the hellebore. This is a nice shrub at this time of year. Um, the flowers are rather unremarkable, a, a creamy coloured sort of iris small iris but the the berries they're quite a uh, tremendous colour first year that I've really appreciated it and we've got a few roses out in December which is unusual and the um, the annual geranium that's still going and uh, more roses and um, daffodil daffodils out there's some really early daffodils at Yeovil I bet they're out all, the, all along the road but they say it was the 17th of December primroses uh, the trouble is we have with primroses here that the sparrows eat the flowers and this is um, a marriage bush which is in flower I can't say any more than that about the name of it. And the lesser celandine is out. I mean, it's a weed, really. Um, yellows are quite difficult with cameras. I'm using a new camera. I've splashed out and bought a Panasonic HC V520. And it's got Wi-Fi whatever that does. I haven't yet found out. Oh, it, uh, I thought it was going to focus nicely on that yellow, but it hasn't. It's confused it. Um, I'll have to get round to the minor details of how to work the focusing and things like that. Well, not minor, major details. I'm always a bit lazy, I'm afraid. I'm down the allotment now, and this is the amazing thing. Rhubarb, ready to pick. Um, 17th of December. I think this is an early variety. It's only been in uh, since last spring and it didn't um, fruit or whatever you call it well in the autumn or the summer but now it's um, you know we could have a feed off of this and the globe artichokes they're greening up well um, if they keep this amount of growth all through the winter into springtime, we should have a tremendous crop of globe artichokes. Um, I, I, I mean, is it to do with global warming? I don't know. Um, probably is, isn't it? Uh, we've just had the Paris Agreement, and uh, they think they can predict how much the Earth is going to warm up by. Um, well, I suppose it, if, because it doesn't affect me very much, I'm not that worried, but I ought to be worried, I suppose. It's those people in the Pacific Islands who have really got tremendous worries. I mean, they've got to move out, really, haven't they? They've got to, people have, have got to move out of flood-prone areas as soon as possible. Um, and people with the higher land have got to, you know, be considerate. Uh, quite a challenge for humanity you know the repopulation of the earth I was thinking about um, carbon capture well trees is the best carbon capture you know they, 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 they're thinking about some sort of chemical or mechanical carbon capture but why not just plant more and more trees and then you could even um, seal up the wood you know not burn it just seal it in uh, in plastic or something, you know, and that, that would be carbon captured. Anyway, bye for now.